Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be looking at the cast of To Sir With Love from 1967 and how they have changed over the years. We will also be sharing some exciting facts that you probably have never heard of. Let's check it out. To Sir With Love is a British drama film from 1967, exploring social and racial concerns in an inner city school. Christian Roberts, Judy Gleason, Susie Kendall and singer Lulu make their film debut alongside Sidney Poitier. James Clavell directed the film from a script he wrote based on E.R. Braithwaite's autobiography novel published in 1959. Here are some interesting facts about the work of art. Did you know that? The film's title song, To Sir With Love, sung by Lulu, spent five weeks at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States in the autumn of 1967 and became the year's best-selling single in the country. On Entertainment Weekly's list of 50 best high school movies, the film came in at number 27. With Love 1996, a made-for-television sequel to Sir, was produced over three decades later, with Poitier resuming his leading role. The picture performed so well in the United States that Columbia Pictures conducted market research to determine why so many people had seen it. Sidney Poitier was their response. The title song was performed by Lulu and immediately went to number one in the United States. The Mindbenders, the band performing at the event, were Wayne Fontana's initial backing band. Game of Love hit Fontana and The Bar, while Groovy Kind of Love was a hit for the ensemble. As a member of 10CC, Eric Stewart of The Mindbenders moved on to tremendous success. The book describes what was burning in the classroom stove that led Thackeray to lose his cool, a sanitary pad which was not identified in the film. The video was prohibited by the South African Publications Control Board because it was offensive to witness a black male teaching a class of white children. In Peter Bogdanovich's television sequel to Sir With Love 2, 1996, Judy Gleason and Lulu were reunited with Sidney Poitier. The picture was delayed for more than a year until Columbia Pictures chose to release it in the summer of 1967 in Los Angeles, California, where it became a smash hit. The London bus LLU 829, which appears in various moments at the beginning of the film and later sequences, is still on display at the East Angela Transport Museum in Carlton Colville, Lowestoft, England. Patricia Rutledge is making her film debut. The title song was relegated to the B-side in the UK while Lulu's A-side, The Boat That I Row, reached number 7. Michael DeBarres, who plays Williams, the always wearing sunglasses student, went on to have a successful career as a character actor, minor rock star and husband to Pamela DeBarres, the most renowned group in rock history. Michael DeBarres' first significant film role. The school for the film is still there, however, it has been transformed into apartments. It's located at 69 Johnson Street in London. It is located to the north of the Shadewell Basin.
That's all we have for today. We hope that you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.